Welcome back to the tutorial videos of Probability Calculator. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to provide probability bounds in Radiant. We have solved three examples, and for those examples, we chose values as input type. So this video will show you when and how to use probabilities as input type. We will work on example 4. The owner of convenience store sells both the LA Times and the San Diego Union Tribune. Typically, at the end of each day, many copies of the papers are left on the shelf and have to be discarded. The owner's daughter, Carol, tries to help her father to set up a reasonable stocking policy and claims that it would be great to have a 90% probability that the demand for each paper is covered. After analyzing past weekday sales data, she estimates the sales of the LA Times are normally distributed with mean of 90 and standard deviation of 28. The sales of the San Diego Union Tribune are normally distributed with mean of 150 and the standard deviation of 42. The question is to calculate the number of copies she should stock off each paper on any given weekday. Let's go to probability calculator and solve for the LA times first. We select normal distribution. The mean is 90 and standard deviation is 28. Since the probability that the demand is covered is 90%, we select probabilities as input type and set the upper bound is 0.9. The cutoff point is 125.883. Since the number of newspapers should be integer, she should stock 126 copies of the LA Times. Please note, to get the integer, we need to round up that means even if the cutoff value is 125.01, she also needs to stock 126 copies to have the 90% probability of demand being covered. If she only stocks 125 copies, the probability will be slightly lower than 90%. Similarly, she needs to stock 204 copies of the San Diego Union Tribune. Thank you for watching. Hope it helps.